same bet time, same bet channel. Aries, dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. What do we have? Stubborn energy. I'll be so damn glad when retrograde is done. Okay, Ace of Pentacles. What else? Can be a monetary gift. Can be a change as far as finances so fear not this is this really has nothing to do with another person unless they are worried about it and it impacts you yeah because this looks like somebody that is looking for a new position at work so it can be somebody that you care about whatever the hell it is and it can definitely be you Aries but it's looking like yes if you're looking at upping into uh, management or a slight increase in pay it does look good so fear not okay Taurus Virgo Capricorn Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Three of Wands. And we're waiting, and we're waiting, and we're waiting. Boom! There it is. You are not waiting in vain. There is somebody that wants to have a connection with you. Or reconciliation, because the Six of Swords definitely can be returning after a difficult leave. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, right. the miser of the deck, the miser. Why are we giving up? All right, Knight of Cups. This person doesn't feel like this is going anywhere. Holding back their emotions. I'm questioning their intents. So they're very content being by themselves. Be careful of that. If you're interested in somebody, especially the water signs, if, if you have any interest in somebody, I really think they're very much content to be single. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Ugh. Dropping it. Is this pick up sticks? This is pick up sticks. You cut this person off. It was too much work. They had to acknowledge it. Why is that? Because they made you wait. No. Don't make an Aries wait. It's not suggestible. They do not like. Okay. Clean deck. Source. Little energy for the person most on Aries' mind or in their energetic field. The Hermit reverse. Really? Okay, so somebody is avoiding you. They like the plague. What's on their thoughts? How do they actually feel? Oh, controlling. Now, this can be feeling about you because the emperor can be an Aries. There's the cock block. How do they view Aries? How do they view Aries? <laughs> One more for how they view you. They think you're being too risky. They think you stepped out incorrectly. And you're the one like, oh, you caused the problem. Did you really? That's what they're saying. That's what they're thinking. That's what they're feeling. They think that you're being a little immature. So they're feeling, oh, they're still holding on to this shit. Why are they holding on to it? Because they're not done with you. They still want to make an offer. So they're, they're potent. I think they're ignoring you on purpose, or they feel like you are ignoring them on purpose and that you cut them off from the satin sheets. Done. Mm -mm. Feeling trust issues here, financial trust issues. How does Aries view this? You're in your glory. You're like, whatever, I'm good. You can be good like that, I can be good like that. You're taking care of yourself, financially secure. How do you feel, feel, feel about this person? You don't want the arguments and conflict. You could feel like they lied to you about something. It's like, you want to be right, then be right, but I'm done with this shit. Moving forward, what energy do we have with this person moving forward? Nope. Nope. Emotional manipulation and not wanting to stick up for this. It's like, I do not have the time to defend myself if you're going to be a dipshit. However, there isn't any closure yet, so I still think that you will hear from this person. One more for the King of Cups reversed. Yep, they're feeling like a sad sack. No, oh, I'm nosy. Let's get a little more. And there it is. 
this is not wrapped up for this person anyway. I don't think you're really, you know, caring one way or the other. It's like you, you want, <laughs> I'm working on my things. I'm not dealing with your delays. This can be a failed attempt of theirs to try to come in your direction. Right now you're just like, I'm good. I'm good. You know, I'll look at things from my own damn perspective and you are holding back. Can be a Leo. You're taking care of your own finances. I don't know if this, this does look like it could have been stability issues, but more on their part. They're seeing that you just kind of went, whatever then. Mm -hmm. I, I can do this by myself. I'm good. <laughs> I'm not afraid of what could happen if I'm by myself. Because, I mean, let's face it. You are your own rock and stability. So we have Gemini. You're causing it does feel like they didn't get their way so they feel like you caused this imbalance and now not talking they think that you're like not being mature about the situation and I see you more like going then I'll cut you I'll just cut you out that's fine go do your merry thing I'm good you're getting a lot of abundance if you're looking at financial issues they look good they really do so cutting that person off as far as any go to especially in the sheets but are you ignoring them on purpose they feel like you're ignoring them or the situation on purpose all right we got a new deck i can't help it i gotta have fun when i find a fun deck shit happens all right what do we have for aries source aries and you have spent some quiet time shitting aka relaxing yeah i think you're all good with what's going on i really do all right, and then let's get a yes, no, maybe so for you. Source. Yes, no, maybe so. Answer for Aries. Certainly not. Yeah, I don't think you're taking any crap. No crap for Aries. Mm-mm. No shit. All right, Taurus. Taurus is dealing with an Aries Leo Sag. Aries Leo or Sagittarius. Seven of Swords. All right. What else? This person is really cold. They're hurting. They're holding back any emotions at all. I don't feel that you're talking to this person. I think they caused it with betrayal. Full reverse. Yeah. Heavy on the eyes. All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Very stubborn one. A lot to say. Strength reverse, six or so. You haven't heard the last of them. They're feeling sorry for themselves, licking their wounds, crying in their beer. Mm -hmm. They feel like you caused the issue here by not putting enough work into the situation and that you cut them off in the sack. But you know, we're just going to leave strength out here and say it can be a Leo as well as an air sign. Okay. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay, three of cups reversed and the four of pentacles reversed. Too many people involved in this. This is definitely a breakup that's not going anywhere. However, they might offer an apology, so I don't think that you're done hearing from somebody yet. Right now they're feeling sorry for themselves. Okay, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Six of cups reversed. There's that. Dwelling on the negative past shit, not being able to let go of things, five of swords. Is it them that wants to make a wrong right or you? Talk it out. King cups reverse. This is somebody that's really, but you did this. But, but, but they're not really saying it. They're feeling it. Okay. Clean deck. Let's see what we have for you. Source. Taurus. Little energy for the person most on their mind or in their energetic field. Star reverse. Oh, they're hopeless. Hopeless, helpless, not feeling like this is going anywhere. It can be an Aquarius. Look at that. How oh, they feel? They feel like you caused this problem. There is a break in communication. I feel that they were codependent. How do they view you? Done with them. Why the Ten of Cups reversed? Strength. So they feel that you're holding back as far as anything. Bottom of the deck, Nine of Cups. I still see this person coming your direction. 
how they feel, feel, feel about Taurus. They still, that's energy and movement. They still are coming your direction. They don't feel like you're putting anything into this right now. So it's kind of stagnant. It's almost like who's going to budge first. I don't think it's going to be you. I do not think it's going to be you. How does Taurus feel about this situation? <clears throat> you're manifesting. You're powerful. You got everything you need to move forward. You'd be open to talks. Oh, yeah. I don't think that you want to be single or you could have felt that this person was codependent on you, but you are open to a new beginning or you're completely starting over. Taurus. Upright, same person. Uh-oh, reversed. Seems like there's somebody else that's got a, the hotties for you that wants to come in fast, but that's very on and off energy. So has this connection been very on and off? Mmm. You could have somebody that's got the hots for you, and that's causing some of the issues here. I don't necessarily feel like you caused it. Somebody could have done so. But this is showing you being content with where the hell you are and moving forward no matter what. You're holding your emotions back right now. No, you are not kissing anybody's ass. The cause to the hurt. A little more on this Knight of Wands. Are you talking to an Aries Leo Sag that's been kind of in and out? Or is this a sappy dude? Sappy dude, sappy dudette. Look at that, what just fell. Wasn't holding the cards well enough? Check that shit out. Making the devil wait. So there could have been a toxic issue. There's no, there is no such thing as an oops when it comes to tarot. They do want to work this out. I don't think you give a shit. You're like, I'm good. If you can't get your shit together... <laughs> Knight of Pentacles, way too slow. That's like potentially a broken commitment, but it's a delayed opportunity and irresponsible with your heart. Mm -mm. Depression issues and the whole balance. This is not the one for you. That's what I'm getting out of these cards. So you could have a fire sign or somebody new coming your direction that makes this other person jealous. You're not having it with this person from the past. Bottom of the deck again, you got the four of coins just holding back emotionally. You're not giving to it. Moving forward, one more for the wheel. And it's after that tower ending. So here's your big change. Expect that person to come in really rash and shitty because they are. They, it's almost like they still feel the need to have a discussion about this ending. There's something that's going to be revealed. You aren't connect, connecting with this person again. You don't feel like there was any stability in the hangman reverse. Some major trust issues. And there's that king of wands reverse. That's not reliable. That's somebody that does what's best for themselves. Yeah. So, we have Scorpio. We have Leo. We have Gemini. We have Aquarius. This person feels like it's not going anywhere, but they're still... It's like they're holding on to the hope of it. You're sick of it. You are sick of it. You're manifesting your own beginning. You might not want to be single, but I'm feeling more that you didn't want to deal with their codependence and you're filling your own damn cups. Here's that ten of cups. I'm, I'm done. Uh -uh. And you got it going on. You got it going on. And I think they know that other people are seeing you. All right. New deck. You're going to love this shit. Shit happens. Taurus. Source. What do we have? No, are you a crazy shit? Be sensible. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Just keep pushing. Endurance. I know it's really bad, but it's too funny not to. I had to have it. Yes, no, maybe so for Taurus. You know I have to have fun here. We like fun. Proceed. Okay, I agree. Forward. Onward. Don't let anybody emotionally try to manipulate you into changing your mind about whatever the hell it is you feel strongly about. I just kind of feel the need to say that. Okay. Gemini. Gemini. Doing Lunaries Leo Sag. Gemini. Okay. Six of coin. What else? Page of Wands. Hmm. One more. One more. 
Okay, no, ouch. This is one-sided. They just want to play. Let them play in the corner. Give them some crayons. All right. Tell them they're not edible either. That would be awfully nice of you, wouldn't it? Here's some crayons. Don't eat them and don't lick the window. Okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Nine of Wands. Or Nine of Swords. Queen of Wands. Ooh. This person is very anxious about you. Why? I'm not sure you're going to take an offer from them, and they don't want to wait. Definitely anxious. Now, they could owe you an apology, but they're seeing that you, you know, they see all the energy and potential that you have. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. No talkie. They are out of the house. They don't want to be. What else? What else? High Priestess. Something was revealed that caused this to be no talkie. There could have been a choice made between two people that got busted. The High Priestess, when reversed, it's out. It's in the light. This person's avoiding the confrontation. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Page of Swords. Collecting information. <clears throat> Excuse me. Seven of Pentacles. Waste of time. <clears throat> this person's wasting their time watching you. If they're going to make an offer, shit, it could have the pot. Okay. They might have a nice offer, but if they don't make it, how the hell would they know? Okay. Clean deck. Gemini. Person, most on Gemini's mind are in their energetic field. Okay. Eight of Stucco. Eight of Swords, this person's blindfolded, not seeing anything. How they view you, how they view you. Right now they don't feel like you're taking any offer from them at all. How they view you. <laughs> they think you're, you're getting information from other people that's false. So listening to gossip. And wanting clarity. Okay, so it's like, I, I'm open to the truth. How do they feel, feel, feel about you? Page of Pentacles reversed. That again is kind of like they're feeling that this is being, you're being a little bit immature and listening to other people. Hmm. But still wanting the truth. So are you trying to get the truth about a situation from other people because they're not giving it? Why are they stuck? Why are they eight of swords? Ten of swords. Because of an ending. They don't want to carry on without you. It's not a pity. Okay, how do they view... How do you view them? How do you view them? I mean, did you get sideline info? Mm, it kind of looks that way. The devil. So you're seeing them as toxic as fuck. And you cut them off. You're like, okay, access denied. What did they do that was toxic? What is the toxicity involved or obsession? Love. Did they step out? One more for the Ace of Cups. Yeah, whatever the hell happened here, you're very well aware of it and you aren't talking to them right now. You used your instincts, you pulled back and you went to your friends for advice, for information. Um... I'm not saying that there was gossip, but I am saying that you got information from other people regarding this. How do you feel? Feel, 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 feel. Pissed. You are pissed. This is your final decision. Whatever the hell happened, it is your final decision. You don't feel there's any hope here. Not with this. Or not right now. No. Mm-mm. You basically put a block on this person. You feel like they lied to you about something. And it could have been flirting with another person. And then the seven of rods. So it's like, I, I'm not going to sit here and feel the need to have you get a babysitter. So I give up. There's a lack of trust, a lack of courage, not wanting to deal with this. What do we have moving forward? Forward movement. 
You got the, you're not going to allow, you don't trust this person. You think they're acting immature or acted immature, not stable. And then we got the two of pentacles. You're really on the fence about all of it. You're not going to be juggled. You're not going to deal with bullshit, whether there was a deep connection here or not. You see, okay, this is the four of rods. Look at how he's unsure. That should be like the bomb diggity card with a pretty tent and everybody's happy and I don't see it. What's new coming for Gemini? New, 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 new energy. Eight of cups. You're just emotionally feeling the need to drop this. You don't want to have to defend yourself and you don't want to have to deal with lies and shit. This is collecting what you need to so that you can bail. Having doubt. Mm -hmm. They might still offer you an apology, but I don't feel like it's heartfelt. Not with the King of Pentacles reversed. That's unreliable, slothy energy for this person, and they can watch you all they want. That's the Page of Swords. Why are they watching you? They caused this. There's the fool. You're moving on because of the heartbreak and the disunion and the breakup. Not wanting to deal with the bullshit. This person still wants to argue this shit out. I don't think you care. Mm -mm. No. Very stagnant energy. Talking to friends. Trying to gather all the information that you need. Trying to gather all the financial. All your packing your damn bags and getting ready. I don't think you're telling them. If the case is that you're still semi-connected. You're getting everything that you need to be able to move on. But you are moving on and it's not an easy, easy, you're not going to turn back. There won't be any turning back. At least not now. You need some time out. There is no new offer of love right now for you. It's just like I loved you and you made me wonder. You made me really question and go within and think about what the hell is really going on. Pulling back. You know, the visions that you're having and the thinking that you're having and the, it's like, uh, there's something that you feel like is being held back for, and it's like, um, I'm, no, I'm too good for this shit. Okay, we got a new deck. That's a shitty energy for you guys. I'm sorry about that. All right, clean, fun deck. You're going to like this one because shit happens. All right, one for Gemini, please. Source. A little advice One turd shuts down the water park. Be cautious. I agree with that. Okay. And a yes, no, maybe so. Source for Gemini. Gemini. You have not happening. Be careful. I, you know, I really think you're gathering all your resources together to make a move. Make it quietly. That's what I'm feeling the need to say. Cancer. Cancer's dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Cancers. Oh, stubborn energy. Cancer. Okay. This person is refusing to let go. All right. Yeah. Okay. This came out kind of half cocked. This is done, but they don't want it to be. It looks like you blocked them off. They're still sexually interested in you. That's nice and all, but done is done. They think that you act like everything's all about you. Uh -huh. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Done. Ten of Wands is a lot to have to deal with. This person wants to stay single. And I think they hold back on their emotions or they don't tell truths. Let them be there. Let them be happy in their singledom. Okay, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. There it is. Just holding back, full of shit. Holding back, they're, you know, it's like they're, they're, they're not putting any work into this. Mm -mm. It's like they still wish that things could be different. Yes, I do believe they feel that way. Also heavy Aquarius, but that's like sloth. Either stepped out, not reliable, in a different connection. They could have caused their own ending with somebody else. Okay. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Because that King of Pentacles can be taken or in a different connection. The Levas can be Gemini. What else? 
Ooh, page of pentacles. What else? Somebody wanting to learn about you. Messaging, starting new, and watching you too. Hmm. So this, I'm feeling, it's like they feel a really good connection with you. There could be seeing that you have more than one suitor as well. But watching you and trying to learn more about you. All right, clean deck. Clean deck. Let's see here. Okay, Cancer, person most on their mind or in their energetic field. Okay, Four of Wands. Bum, bum, bum. Ten of Pentacles. All right, they're all fucked this shit. I'm out of here. There was a feeling. Why the hair font? Why the hair font? The tower. Okay, so, and boom, poof, done. Change. Change of some sort regarding this long-term connection or learning. They, they have a different view of how things should be. Chariot, this person can be at a distance, but they're basically feeling about you that this is done. Ten of Pentacles, they're burying themselves at work. How do they view cancer? Oh, okay, very good. Well, obsessed or toxic. Why... Okay, because you don't want any confrontation. They don't trust you. Temperance, I think they feel like you're a little bit short of a full load upstairs. I don't want to. How you're viewing this, I think you have somebody else coming your direction. This could have been poof, done. You're just getting a little bit of a history lesson. You're kind of guarded. Indian Aries Leo Sag. They think you're kind of cray cray. Mm -mm. Watching the situation. Let them watch. It can be somebody new watching. High Priestess is like majorly avoiding any confrontation. I think you got a water sign coming your way, but you got your shit together. You're in your glory. You're taking care of yourself. They think you're cray cray? Why? You're taking care of yourself. People are noticing you. People are seeing you. You are doing well. They are not doing so well. They're licking their wounds after this ending here. But they're blaming it. They're putting it on you. Saying that you were the one that caused the issue. Pity. Why the Empress? Ooh, you might have a new connection come in your direction. I don't feel that it's this person at all. You're staying away from that shit. Can be a Leo. Yeah, you're not talking to the past person. Very done. Very, very done. Slow. You're like, this just did not go right, but I do see somebody coming your way that could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces that has a crush. Mm -hmm. Not sure why you needed the history lesson because, you know, they're looking at you like that you're still strong and that you, when you make a decision, you goddamn mean it. You control your own damn destiny, and if you have to fight for it, it's like, hey, man, I got this. I got this. I do not need you. I don't need the bullshit ways that you did and pulled. I will spank you with a wooden stick. You're having your balance. <laughs> you're going to wait for the one that's right for you. That person wasn't, so you're working on your, you know, you got one cup left to fill, and it does look like somebody's interested in hooking up, not just for fun, but definitely for fun to begin with. People be noticing you. <laughs> Somebody, you know, feels like they could be the counterpart. So you, you are meeting new people. You aren't talking to the person from the past. You are emotionally moving on from things that no longer felt right. Yep, bossing up. Controlling your emotions. Filling your own cups. Being noticed. Somebody wants a connection with you, but you might make them wait. They're watching you right now. This other person, they're just working. Nope. They have a completely different idea on what commitment is. I don't know what the hell they did, but they caused an ending here. Major, no good. No good. So you're like, okay, fine. Done. Move it on. Moving out. They could have moved out, and you were okay with it because it's like, Whatever they didn't want to be confronted about wasn't okay. Hiding something, they were, they were. 
So you're like, okay, fine. I don't need to feel defensive about this shit. That's enough. Other people are noticing you. They still th are blaming you. Blaming you. You're the fool. Mm -mm. So you have Libra, Aries, Capricorn, Sagittarius. You're putting your foot down. Libra, Taurus, Water signs, Aries again. A lot of fire up here. Somebody's bailing. All right, let's get the new deck. I can't help it. When I see something fun, we gotta have it. Cancer, source. A little input for cancer. All right, hard work will improve a shitty situation. Stay focused. All right, and what else? One happy shit is coming. Optimism. And let's get an answer. Yes, no, maybe so for cancer. Source. Ooh, there it is. What do we got? Thumbs up. Bottom of the deck. <sighs> no way. So thumbs up moving forward. That's what I got for you, Cancer. On we go to Leo. Leo's dealing with fire. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Source. One more shuffle. Tower reversed. What else? What else? Nine of Pentacles. All right. This ending that this person and you had, they really feel. <laughs> Nine of Pentacles, they're single, they're by themselves. They are pretty much just moving on. They're not thinking, you know, not feeling it was as bad anymore. All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The star. Heavy and Aquarius. Ooh. Ooh. One more. Can also be Taurus. This person's got long-term in mind. They're willing to commit, but they aren't telling you. Not telling you. So they're thinking, they're wishing, they're hoping. They really are imagining, daydreaming, but they're not telling you how they feel about that. Dumb. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Why? Why? Why would you do that? Five of Cups. I'm sorry. So sorry. Regret, remorse, removed their ass. Don't want it to be done. And then you get the King Cups. They still have feelings for you. They don't want this to be done. I would say you probably will hear from them, but there needs to be a change. See, it's at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, they're going to send you that. Um, Hi, what's up? Seriously. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Let's see. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Eight of Pentacles. Effort, effort. Yeah. This person's going to come in with effort, demanding. Ooh. They don't want any competition, but boy, this is going to be some drama. Be careful with that one. They're going to come in with an argument. Screw that. Screw that. Queen deck. Leo. Person most on their mind or in their energetic field. Okay. Wish fulfillment. Contentment. One more. And emotions. Hmm. How do they view Leo? Okay. Cockball queen, there you are. So they think that you are pissed off. How do they feel? All right. Endurance. Why would they feel endurance about you? So they still have some fight left. They know that you are guarded. They also know that you are moving past a heartbreak. Hmm. How do you view this person? This could be new. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You could feel that this is the right person for you with justice at the bottom of the deck. Can be a Libra. This is like soulmate. Something to celebrate. You also could meet this person at a celebration. How will they feel? How will you feel about this person? Okay, well, you'd be willing to take it slow. Nothing wrong with that. Can be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Small offering. Very methodical. So it's like a little easy does it there, pal. 
but this could be a new chapter so this does feel kind of newer this looks like a newer connection something to celebrate I'm not going to say, oh, you know, when baby makes three and everybody lives happily ever after, but I do feel that this is newer energy coming your way, and you're going to make them wait a little bit. Threes, okay. I mean, that's manifesting. It's moving towards expansion and expanding, but this is kind of like waiting. It's like, eh, wait, because you're still, yeah, I think you're, <laughs> bottom of the deck, the moon, so you're not exactly sure how you're going to feel about this, but I do think they have good intentions with the Ten of Cups here. I think that they would have emotions. It's nothing that, you know, would be... So I think you're going to hold back a little bit because of your hurt that you're still moving past, but this feels like new energy. It really does. If they see you as wish fulfillment or feel that they would be very content, pissed off. I think this is more the residual shit that you still had and holding back from somebody else. So it's like you're just still telling the same old story. Let's get one more for the Queen of Swords. Are you pissed? Because somebody tried to come back or made an attempt at doing so and you just cut it off. So it's it's you just holding on to that energy and you were like, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm not working with you anymore. So it does look like you're moving towards somebody else. Yeah. But you are holding back a little bit. But they want to screw your brains out. They want to have a connection. I, this is nice energy. They, this is somebody that really has the hots for you. So if you get an invite to go somewhere, <laughs> go. Because you could have a new chapter coming your direction. Something fun. Dates. Hanging out. Can be a Virgo. Can be Cancer Scorpio Pisces. This is you really thinking about it. I got to learn more about you. But this can be feel, that feeling of a soul connection here. Oh, I kind of know you. I feel like I know you. But, you know, has good intent. Can be a Gemini. But they, I do think they have good intent. I do, I do, I do. If you're invited to go out somewhere, expect to hear from your ex. And just be like, no, done is done. Can be a Scorpio. You're still licking your wounds a little bit. You're pissed off at the person that's going to dare come your direction. And piss you off again. Yet again. All right. I got a new deck, Leos. Because shit happens. All right. Let's get one from the universe. What kind of shit's happening for Leos? Stop here. <laughs> your silent fart is about to explode. Hold on. Yeah, something's up. <laughs> Oh, and then you also have happy shit is coming. Be optimistic. Very nice. Let's get a yes, no, maybe so for you. Yes, no, maybe so for you. Stop here. Back up three. Really? So specific. And you have for sure. All right. So it's at the bottom of the deck. Confirmed. Okay. So some positivity, Leos. Very nice. And on we go. Two Virgos. All right, Virgos. Let's grab this. Clean deck. If you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, we have Swords. Aries, Leo, Sag. All right. Mm -hmm. You can meet this person at work. They would be a management type person. They're very content with how things are. They're very, they can be just well off. Ooh. This is somebody hitting on you. If you get an invite to go somewhere, go. Because it's like, I'm seeing, you know, drinks, celebration, uh, meeting somebody that could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That looks pretty nice. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Seven of Cups reversed. What else? This person is picking you, and they feel that it is the right choice to make. They feel you are the right person for them. Ooh, they're ready to settle down. Ooh, that's pretty strong. Ooh, I want one more. I want to know. I want to know. Ooh, you might hold back a little bit, but I think this person has, it's like, if they treated you like an option, I don't feel like they did. I think they're just, they had a lot of confusion and a lot of things on their plate and now they're ready to you know settle down but you might be a little standoffish a little cold if you will okay cancer scorpio pisces oh 
All right, this is done with this person. You're turning your back to them. It's just done, it's done, it's done. It can't get any worse. And you're working on your healing and they damn well know it. They're working on theirs too. Moving forward, that's what they are doing. Pack your bags and get the foo out, get the foo out. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, so Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Well, ick. That's argumentative horseshit. A lot of drama, a lot of pity party, a lot of moving on. And then you got the Knight of Cups. They could be sitting around having some beers, talking to their pals, thinking about an apology. It is possible. Possible. All right, clean deck. Would you care, though? All right. Virgo. Ooh, it's a looky looky at the bottom of the deck. Nice star. Okay, well, there's your person. I came out really fast. They're moving away. Why do we have the Eight of Cups? They don't want the headaches anymore. Now, they're moving away, and yet they don't want to. They're moving away, and yet they don't want to. They're giving up that, I have to be right about everything. I think that it would be a ploy. No, I don't trust this shit at all. I don't have to be right. No, it's almost like one last hurrah on if you'll forgive. All right, how do they view you? <laughs> you cock blocked this shit. You're, the passion that you had for them is gone. You felt juggled or you're really on the fence about whether you want to put any effort into this at all. You don't trust them. It's been too on and off. And with the magician reversed here, oh. Mm -mm, that's manipulation. That's shitty. That's misuse of everything. <laughs> like they push your emotional buttons to try to get their way. Why the magician reversed? I don't trust them. There's the apology. They're really thinking about it. This person's stalking you. I really have to say this person's stalking you. It's not here, but I feel it. They want to get back together, but they're not telling you. They're still... They could be watching your ass wiggle as you walk away, too, and being like, well, maybe I don't have to be right. How does Virgo view this? How does Virgo view this? One more shuffle. Yeah. Deep down, you know this is crap. It's like, I'm a loofah. I'm being quiet. I'm using my gut instincts. You pull back for a reason. It's almost like you feel you have to keep your shit to yourself because they could use it against you. Why the high priestess? Holding back your emotions. You're being very guarded and probably for very good reason. You're like, uh-uh, no, thank you, no dice. How you feel about them. I mean, that that's your closure. That's, you know, it's like what didn't work, you're replaying the events in your mind. Probably to remind yourself why you feel the way you do. So it's like rethinking the memories that led up to this shit. Not talking to that person. You're like, hands off, dude. Do that. Hangman, really? Right here. High Priestess and the Hangman holding back. Waiting, waiting. No hurry. What's coming? New, new, new. New. That... You don't feel the same way about this person anymore. You don't want this to move forward. If they are waiting, they would be waiting in vain. You do not trust them. What else? They still don't think it's done. And yet, it's a waste of time. That Yeah, I'm reading what we're getting here. Waste of time. This person is self-centered. Unreliable. The Empress, when reversed, can be... Codependent, smothering, jealous, unfaithful, and emotionally manipulative. Emotionally manipulative and big time. Like sneaky emotional manipulation. I don't like them, so here you are. Moving forward, moving on. Getting your healing in. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Devil reversed. Toxic bullshit. More drama. Be careful. They still want to have a say, and it's not a very nice one. It's a very cold, shitty one. So you have Gemini, Scorpio. This person's not done. They do not feel this is done. You're getting drive by bullshit stalking crap, whether you're aware of it or not. They're still thinking about coming in, and I'm I'm wrong. I don't have to be right, but it's superficial crap. 
Tell them to stuff their flowers right up their ass. Have a uh, potential of a Pisces. Your gut feeling is right. Whatever your gut is telling you is right. Whether it's hurtful or not. And yes, you are hurt. You're holding back your emotions. You're working on your healing. Smart choice. Cock blocked that. They're watching you walk away and you meant it. You mean it. Okay. We got a new deck, Virgo. You ready for this? Because shit happens. Okay. Source for Virgo. Virgo. Okay. Never kick a turd on a hot day. Have patience. And see what's at the bottom of the deck. T. Your silent fart is about to explode. Hold on. I do think that there's going to be a... I hate to say this because it's not fun, but I still feel like there's going to be a little bit of a blow up between you and this person. They don't like that they're not getting their way. Yeah. You know, like you kissing their ass. Yes, no, maybe so. Don't be passive. Ask again later. Bottom of the deck. Confirmed. All right, Virgo. Be strong. Be strong. All right, on we go. Libra. Libra. Dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Temperance and Ace of Pentacles. You're healing. You're healing this person. They're healing too. They're cold as hell. They aren't offering squat. They don't want this to move forward anymore. There's an imbalance with this person I'm feeling. Okay. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Nope. We do not trust the Queen of Pentacles reverse. That person's either a sloth. One more. Gossipy, horseshit, defensive, and crappy, and yet they want to try to work things out or have something to celebrate. Wishy-washy, bipolar, not right in the head. Two up and down. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Can we get some good energy here? Oh, yeah. You're like, you keep waiting there, devil. Mm -mm. This person's a little bit obsessed with you. They want to come in and speak their truth and want they want to be heard. They want to move forward. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They're aloof. Okay, they are willing to put more work into this. There's a truth that became known. They want to come back and try to work this out. But with the high priestess here, they're avoiding the actual confrontation that needs to happen. Okay, so if they want to talk something out or come back, they need to be more open to giving to the situation. And that means verbally and mentally. So don't, you know, don't let them come back if they're not going to share. Because there's something they do not want to be questioned about. Okay, clean deck. Libra. Source, person most on Libra's mind or in the energetic field. What do we have for Libra? Okay. Well. That's a lot of crapola. Ace of Wands reversed, the Emperor reversed, and the Queen of Swords. So this person's quite upset right now. They feel like there was a lot of control and they are not happy about this ending. Hmm. How do they view you? Well, they still have feelings for you, interestingly enough. How do they feel? They feel like you're holding back. They feel like you do not want to be confronted and you do not want to talk to them. How do you view this situation? King of Wands. Why the King of Wands? I mean, that's a person that gets what they want. Are you dealing with somebody new that's an Aries Leo Sag? Somebody's pissed. Tell me more about this Ace of Cups. You started talking to somebody new and you might be, or you it's common because you don't want any confrontation from that person. Movement forward with the X. Unsure. I don't know that they're going to even bother. They might just move forward and let it go. But I do see new for you. This person from the past was a control freak with a temper. And you're moving forward. 
can mean Aquarius. This is what is coming for you. And this has nothing to do with this person at all other than they are pissed off about it. However, they're still obsessed with you. They're trying not to be, but they are. You dropped it. You're like, that's enough of this shit. They still might want to have a discussion. Six of Swords reversed means a turn in the boat around type feeling. But, you know, it just could be bad timing because I don't, I think you're just going to resist anything to do with them. Why? Why the resisting? You don't have the same feelings about them anymore. You just don't. They confused the shit out of you. Interesting. Tell us more about this King of Wands that gets anything that they want. That's like somebody that's energetic, wants to go do things, likes to have fun. Mm-hmm. And they want to put some effort into it. This looks like newer dating, newer talking, newer fun, fun, fun. And the Knight of Wands, you know, fast incoming. So I would expect this to happen soon. And then right underneath of that, you have the Ace, uh, Ace of Swords. So this is some kind of breakthrough happening coming for some of you. Obviously, it can't be all of you. The X, just, you don't want to deal with it. You don't want to deal with it. You don't feel the same way. You dropped it. They, oh, the controlling and the bitchiness or crabbiness or uptightiness or never knowing how what the hell was going to come out of their mouth and argumentative jackass. Not nice. Bitch, jackass, whatever. Take your pick. But new energy coming your way. You don't want to talk to them. You aren't going to tell them. You don't think that any of their, you know, their business... What's going on with you? Can be an Aquarius, can be an Aries, Leo, Sag, or a Taurus, or a Virgo. But mm -mm. can also be a Capricorn. But I see new emotions. I'm not going to say, oh, it's brand new. No, it's new. It's newer dating. It's something fresh. But somebody that is responsible, fun, and sticks around. This, If it was reverse, I'd say, run. But it's not. Wishing, hoping, fun, plans, <laughs> reaching for the sky. New energy coming your way. You don't feel the same way that you did about that person anymore. You know, it's like you, you had your lip hanging for a while, but you're done with that. Something fun's coming. All right. We have a new deck. You ready for this one? It's good. Okay, here it comes. Shit happens. Let's get one for Libra. What shit's happening for Libra? What do they know? What do they need to know? Discover the meaning of shit. <laughs> it's a quest. And then all great shit is preceded by chaos. A challenge. I don't think you've heard the last of that person. Thank God. Their energy is really crappy. Okay, that's what I have. Libras. All right, Scorpios. Dealing with a fire. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Aries, Leo, Sag. All right. Nine of Cups reversed. Ten of Wands reversed. Five. Okay. This person wants to fight for this. They do not want to be single. They got some drive for damn sure. There's emotions here. They still want to talk this out. Okay. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. A lot of cards. Okay. This person... They, no, they're done. They're done, 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 done. They're being an asshole and ignoring you on purpose. What do we have for Cancer Scorpio Pisces? Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Empress Reverse, not trustworthy. Page of Swords, ooh, sneaky horseshit. They're talking about you behind your back, about this ending and being a dick or a douche or a bitch. Or a, a twat nugget. Something not so nice. Take your favorite pessimistic shitty word and insert. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. One more shuffle. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay. Eight of Cups. I kind of did a flip, so that could have been either direction. What else? They don't want to go anywhere. This person's having a hell of a time trying to move on from you. What else? Can be a cancer. They don't have, you know, they're they're a coward. 
not talking to you right now, but they don't want that to be done. They're whimping it, licking their wounds a little bit. Okay, clean deck, clean deck. All right. Source. What do we have for our fine Scorpios? Their person or most in their energetic field? Ace of Wandies. Ooh. This person's thinking about you in a very sexual way. Ooh, and the world. Why the world? Why the world? Okay. Ooh. They don't know what the hell to do. There's a choice that has to be made, and they don't know what the hell to do it, but ooh, are they thinking about you? How do they view Scorpio? You got it going on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. They see that, okay, you're good looking, charming. You got it going on. You get what the hell you want. You do what the hell you want. How do they feel about you? They feel like they didn't get their way. Now, the Five of Swords, it's like <clears throat> arguing and, and shitty, but it's also, was there something that was bullshit? Ace of Cups. They still want to. They still want to. One more for the Five of Swords. Was there something revealed? Four of Cups. They're rethinking whatever the hell happened here. There was some kind of deceit. How do you view this, Scorpio? King of Pentacles. Why the King of Pentacles? For how you see the situation. Queen of Cups. Why the Queen of Cups? I think that it, well, you have feelings for somebody, it might not be this person, but getting your stability, okay? I think you're holding back from this person, whether you care about them or not. I do feel that you have emotions for somebody that is responsible and reliable. Holding back from that person, not trusting, healing. That's a balance, it's moderation. So some of you could be willing to reconcile with this person and put effort into it with them. And some of you are moving on. You have the Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck. The anxiety and the concern about this is heavy and hardcore. Underneath of that, Page of Wands. So it's like there's a new enthusiasm here. And it can be that you are, I'm just going to throw this out there because I do see it. If you have a love for something new that you want to do as far as finances, that's heavy on your mind, okay? So this other person wouldn't be nothing, and you're working on something new that could be making you money, and there could be a water sign coming in. Now, that also can be an apology from that person, but I'm really, no, this also can be a team member and a business partner. I don't know why I'm feeling the need to say that, but it's there. You might be getting an apology or you have new energy coming your directions. Three of Wands. You are making plans. It takes two to make plans, though, so keep that in mind. Bottom of the deck now, it's like you're the Eight of Cups. Emotionally moving away from something that no longer served you, that no longer was making you feel good. Not content. Leaving. You feel like you did, you, did all you could. Restarting. Just emotionally had enough of it and you felt rejected by that person. You didn't want to have to deal with that shit anymore. But I'll tell you what, financially, something big's coming. Ooh, moving forward. I don't even care about whatever the hell's going on here. You got money, money, money coming. You, if there's something on your mind or somebody wants to partner up with you, go for it. Because it looks good. And it would be something that you really, really like to do. Three of Wands is plans, but it's two people making plans for the future. So there's a little bit of a wait here, but it damn well looks good. I don't think that has much to do with love. You could have a Cancer Scorpio Pisces coming in and starting to play flirty flirty with you. What about this X? 
What about this person? They still, yeah, they might apologize. But is it going to be one-sided? You know, that's what you have to consider. I, I don't think that they want any confrontation about it. And it would still leave you defensive. Like in always feeling like you have to keep your, your walls up because of what could happen. It's like you still got that drive left in you. I don't know that you want to deal with that. You got to see it from a different perspective. And I don't think you're talking to that person right now. But holy shit, are you moving forward? Wow. Finances are looking sweet. You're getting recognition for something. And I don't feel it has anything to do with this person from the past or the one that you're, is on your mind that you're trying to move away from that could have deceived you or, or was, you know, a big argument that caused a big boom. Because, wow. But see the word here, business success? Yeah. That's somebody that knows how to talk the talk to get people interested in their product, etc. But I see new energy as far as finances and ooh, ooh, ooh. Something that you've put a lot of thought into. People are noticing you. I'm loving it. This is new. It's something that you really are, you know, passionate about and doing it in moderation. So really putting a lot of thought into it. Whoever this resonates for, great. But the world here, new chapter. And I'm thinking it's more your new chapter. This person still, you know, they're still imagining screwing you. It's there. But they, they are moving. Moving. <laughs> it's like major stalemate between you and this person because of something that was deceitful but money whatever you are thinking about if you have an idea in mind freaking go for it it looks good holy man woo, woo. all right we got a new deck we're gonna play with it because shit happens all right for scorpio please source one shitty card what shit do they need to know about do it, you silly shit. Use your intuition. Bottom of the deck. Queen of shit has courage, inner strength. There is something you really need to try that you, that, yeah. Ooh. Money, money, money. All right. That's what I have for you. And on we go to Sagittarius. Okay, Sagittarius. Dealing with a fire, Aries, Leo, or Sag. Knight of Swords. What else? A little bit pushy action here. Ooh, very pushy action. Leo, Leo. This person's irritated, wants to talk, get something on. Ooh. This is the type of person that gets their way. One more. T. <laughs> okay, but it's like something never got off the ground and they're irritated. That's kind of what I'm feeling here. So it might be that you didn't have the same feelings or you didn't have the same interest. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right. Why the eight? This person's confused as fuck and they feel like they're stuck. Fucking stuck. No, no. No, thank you. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. King of Cups. Well, emotionally available, mature. The magician. Ooh, they could be manifesting a beginning with you. That's somebody very powerful. We like it, we like it. And then justice can be a Libra. Oh, this person feels like you're the right one and they want to come on in. Ooh, power. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Nanny, nanny, boo, boo. Arguments and horseshit. Deceit. This person's kind of turning their back. They think they won. Not talking to them. I don't think they're capable of seeing things in a different way. Too stubborn. Mm hmm Yeah, this is causing heartache. Release that one. Okay, clean deck. Clean deck. Source. For Sagittarius, person most on their mind or in their energetic field. Couple cards. Alright. There's the stuck and fuck again. So it's like they're they're wanting to move forward, but they feel stuck. Why is this person stuck? Why do they feel stuck? Why are they bound? What are they bound to? 
Mm. Are they in a different connection? One more. One more. Yeah, um, I think that they're still thinking about their ex. So it's like, are they able to move on or not? They're dwelling on the past. How do they view Sag? Hmm, one more. They want to put effort in, but they're holding back. What the fuck is that? How do they feel? Oh. They want to boss up. They want to make an offer here. They want something stable. Can be an Aries. What the hell? They want a connection with you. This can be potential reconciliation, but I... How you view this, you're trying to heal. How does Sag feel about this person? How do you feel about this person? You just dropped it. You're like, this isn't worth putting any work into anymore. You gave up. You felt defenseless. You're like, I don't I, I can't anymore. I'm not defending my relationship with you. I'm done. And it was very hurtful. Whoever the hell this is is still watching. One more for that eight. Why are they feeling stuck? No commitment at all. Well, it can be that they didn't offer enough and moved too slow and that they weren't willing to give. So they kind of screwed themselves and you went, done, 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 done. They are not happy. They did not get their way. How does this move forward? I do. This person's really impulsive and immature. I don't know. They still might come your direction and you might block their attempt. I don't think you want to go through another round with this person. You are holding back. See how the hands are bound? It's like, keep your hands off of me. But they don't feel this is done, so I'd say they aren't done talking anyway. One more for the world. Okay, maybe two. King of Pentacles, four of what? They're trying to boss up and be more responsible and show that they are reliable. I don't think you want it. I don't think you trust it. You might have given it so much time and it took too much time for them to be able to. It was all one-sided. You felt like the passion was gone. Done. Four of Wands reverse is saying there's, it doesn't always have to mean the breakup, but it definitely means that there was no stability with it. They want to boss up now. Might be a little bit too damn late because they want to work with you. They want to put effort into it, but they see that you're holding back, not wanting. They don't think this is done. There needs to be more closure. You need to wrap something up for them. Maybe they're closed and bag it up and put it at the door because they don't feel this is done. If they tried to reconcile, it'd be a no. No, you're you're getting a breakthrough yourself and you're moving forward. See what's underneath. Yeah, you are moving on. Look at that. A breakthrough, clear, concise movement forward. This is about timing, what you decide to do. Not dealing, you're dropping the toxic shit. You don't want to deal with this person anymore. Whatever the hell they did, they could have been a bit of a control freak. The commitment, the offer wasn't there. They took too damn long. And now they want to try, and you're like, I, I'm healing. I'm trying to move on. It's not as bad as it had been. I don't feel it's you trying to avoid this ending. I feel it's you going, it's not as bad as it has been. And you're going to make a fool of yourself if you try to come in because I'm not, not dealing with that. They could have ghosted you. This could be why they feel stuck. They screwed themselves. Just saying. They're trying to get more information about you. So they're basically watching you and what they, what you're doing. And they, you know, they, they, they aren't letting go of the past. They're dwelling on it. You're getting a different perspective so you can move forward. Hurt and letting go of it. It's like, okay, it's done. It's done. They don't want it to be done. Look at this. Can be an Aries. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, heavy up here as well. Let's see. Yep. Here's the Osage Taurus. 
Sagittarius, Scorpio, Aries. Yeah, I don't think you have the same feelings. I think you feel like you tried your best and it just did not go well. All right, we have a new deck. So we're going to see what shit you need to know because shit happens. For Sagittarius, what shit do they need to know? What shit do they need to know? Eat shit and you will shit shit. Look before leaping. Yeah, be careful. And then you have... Ooh, two more. Don't shit yourself. You're on the right path, so trust. Wealthy shit ahead. Coordination. Finance is looking good. All right, and then a yes, no, maybe so for you. Yes, no, maybe so. Yes, no. Ooh, something flipped in the deck. we got to back up and find it. There it is. Maybe, but probably not. And at the bottom... Which way? Mm-hmm. All right. Sagittarius, very interesting energy. On we go to Capricorn. Capricorns dealing with a fire, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. We have source. Okay. This is done. This is just done. They, they didn't give enough to the situation. It was very one-sided. They ended it. It was fucking like out of nowhere. And now they're just moving past. They see you are hurting. Isn't that special? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Ten of cup of the cup cups. They got a cup for you. This is somebody that has long-term potential or in mind. And then you have the sun. Happiness. Happiness. It's going to make you think. But I don't know that you're going to be able to turn it down. There's something about this person. I'm feeling it's more like, <laughs> is this too good to be true? You know, because you're really on the fence. I feel like this is, they're that damn good looking. <laughs> that it makes you feel a little bit obsessed. But you're going to be kind of on the fence about this. So you're going to juggle the idea. They want to jump in maybe a little bit too fast. Can be a Leo, but I do think their intent is good. Can just be a Capricorn too. Okay, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Five of Cupies. One. Regret, remorse, not talking to them. They want to come back. Ooh, they want to start over. So you're going to get a message from this person. It's going to be like, what's up? Or how you been? Or hey, you know, it's like, really? That's all you have? No, that's not enough. That is not going to be enough. You might not even respond. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Judgment. Dun, 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 dun. Choice that needs to be made. Using your judgment. This person wants to have clear communication, very, very honest, and boss up. I'm liking it. It's at the bottom. An offer. Something tangible. Ooh, and screwing. This person wants to spill the truth. They want clarity. This can be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but boy, do they mean business. This is a serious offer. I'm liking that. They can be on the serious side, too. Look at the mess. Ugh, pixie fairy dust all over the place. Cards, cards, cards. Okay, clean deck. Source. Interesting energy. Ooh, bottom of the deck, you got the star wishing. What do we have for the person most on their mind or in their energetic field, please? Source. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. Right now, this person is feeling some remorse. They're sad. They're sad and they're a sad sack and disappointed. They could be missing you. They're wanting wish fulfillment. That's how they feel. Everything is out on the table. There's no bullshit. I'm not saying that they lied, but they could have cheated, lied, or whatever. Now they're damn regretting it and know they got it coming. How do they view Capricorn? How do they view Capricorn? Oh, yeah, cock block queen. You're like, ooh, if you're going to commit to me, you're going to tell the fucking truth if we're going to start over again. You act confused, you confuse the shit out of me. Ooh. How do you view this? 
they know that they have to come clean, completely clean, even if it was just holding back emotions, but they miss the shit out of you and they're hoping to be content again. You're juggling the thought. You are thinking about it. You're like, I don't know. How do you feel about this person? Okay, I mean, you do see this person as long-term, or you had at one point in time, it is somebody that you care about, but you want the goddamn truth. This could be happening. This is forward movement, fast, and sometimes shitty, okay? The Knight of Swords is not real suave with, ooh, it hit the dirt. Okay, this moves forward. So some of you have a reconciliation. You're still irritated by it. Mm-hmm. But it does look like some of you want this. If this person, if our Capricorns do not want to reconcile what might be coming their way, then you just move on. You move on and you do the best for yourself. But you're always going to kind of wonder what could have happened. You could be making a physical move as well, but this is planning. So if you do not want to reconcile with this person and let them have the opportunity to offer you that long-term commitment and you want to start a new chapter, move on emotionally into smoother waters saying, I don't want to put the work into this, either way, you're still going to be irritated, but you're moving forward in a positive way and people are going to recognize that and there is the healing and the balance. So for you that want to reconcile, this person does have love for you. This is planning, this is waiting, this is one hell of a connection, and this person is ready to talk. For those of you that do not want this person back, I still see them trying. There could be a choice that needs to be made. I don't feel like it's between two people, I really don't. It could have been, but I'm not seeing a lot of, if it had been, they're not screwing around with talking, flirting, anything right now. They could have just held back their, you know, feelings. You want this offer or you want stability financially. If you are looking just period at financial stability, it's coming in abundance. So if you're on the fence about making an investment, it says go for it. I don't know why that's coming out. You're the second sign that's had that message. But this person wants to be content. They want to be happy. So you have potential reconciliation can also be new dating, but I'm feeling reconciliation. So we have Gemini, Aries, Leo, Sag, Taurus. You giving it to somebody good. Finance is looking good. Looking towards the future. That can be a distance, but it's a little bit of a weight. Can be Sagittarius, Pisces, Leo. They do miss you. They do miss you. All right, we got a new deck. So we're going to see what kind of shit you need to know. Because shit happens. Ha 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 ha. Had to have it. Sorry guys. Alright, what kind of shit do they need to know? Source. Stop. Alright. All great shit is preceded by chaos. It's a challenge. And then because shit happens, acceptance. Flush. That's what I'm saying. Alright. Ah, uh, we're also going to get a yes, no, maybe so for you. Wrong deck. Damn blondes. Yes, no, maybe so for Capricorn. Yes, no, maybe so. And you have absolutely not. So it's at the bottom of the deck. Ask for something else. Okay, that's what we have for you, Capricorn. And on we go to Aquarius. Aquarius. Aries, Leo, Sag. If you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sag. Okay. This person wants to stay single. Yeah, they're just moving on. They're giving up. They're working. Just period. Working, working. That or they were a smothering jackass. Run and hide. All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. No, we don't trust that shit. Defend yourself well against this person. There's something about them I do not trust. You do not trust. You are guarded. And they might want to reconcile. Barf. Okay. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Ooh, shit. 
someone is pissed off. There's too many people involved in here. They're anxious as fuck and they're pissed off and they're listening to other people. So you got gossip going around about the situation. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The happy pony. Fast action. Denied. Really? One more. All right, the ex that wants to come back, they want to get you in the sack, but they don't feel that there's any way you're going to do it. Just saying. Full reversed? They might try anyway. Okay, fresh deck. Source. Person most on Aquarius's mind. All right, so what they're thinking about is reconciliation, but right now they're ignoring you. They're not talking to you. Did they learn a lesson? Probably not. Can be a Virgo. Why is the hermit reversed? Because this was this relationship, this connection was hurtful. They moved on and it was too on and off. How do they view Aquarius? Yeah, you got your shit going on. They, they are thinking about you, okay? They're reminiscing. They aren't dropping this. They still have feelings for you. They're missing you. One more for feelings, feelings, feelings. And they feel stuck. Pity. Okay. Why? What? Why the in and out and on and off? Were they getting attention from other people? Were they flirting around? How does Aquarius view this? You don't want to deal with it. You feel like there was secrets or you're holding back. Bottom of the deck, you got the three of pentacles. Could have been a third party. One more for the moon. Can be a Pisces that you're thinking about, but you're getting your wish fulfillment. We like this shit. Mm-hmm. Bottom of the deck. Can be an Aries Leo Sag that's coming your way. This person could have, you know, fucked things up royally with being too on and off, and now they see you getting... Um, <laughs> recognition and attention from somebody else but you're happier oh yeah this is contentment you're only one cup short of a full full feeling of blissy blissy but i think that you are dealing with somebody that is more emotionally available likes to have fun likes to go and do things wants to put work into it i mean those are i like it give me more on this king And it's after an ending. Okay, so after you drop this history lesson with the person that's ignoring you, they put the final nail in the coffin. They moved on. And they caused a lot of hurt and a lot of burdens and really put you up in your head. So what you have is wish fulfillment coming your direction. Wishes, wishes, wishes. Granted, a little bit of a history lesson. This person is sorry. But they did it to themselves is really what I'm getting here. And I don't think you're talking to them. I think you have somebody new that's paying attention to you or soon will. The star is healing, but you're going to have somebody come in your direction. Can be at a distance, but they want to talk. They want to get to know you. They want to dig you. You're going to be a new dish for somebody. Strength. Stay strong. Can be a Leo coming your way, but boy, are they going to be responsible. You can meet them at work. New energy coming your way. This looks nice. It looks like newer dating, but somebody that is an adult. You're going to make it start small. I think they're going to feel you out a little bit and then come in with an offer. You can also have like three people coming in. To, people are seeing you. You are getting recognition. Look at you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So after the ending that you had, you're working on your healing. You're working on filling your own damn cups and you're working on your contentment. The star, it's deciding what you want. It's like, you know, when I wish upon a star, I expect my expectations of hope and renewed faith are going to go well, damn it, and I mean it. Healing. I like it. We're leaving it. Holy shit. Nice energy. The ex is still there because, you know, they're in your thoughts. They always, once you love somebody, they're always in your thoughts. So Aries, Leo, Sag, heavy on the Leo. Heavy on the, I'm sorry, I screwed shit up. Mm-hmm. 
Aries Leo Sag, Aries Leo Sag, Virgo. They do feel ignored or they're ignoring you. I don't feel there's contact, but it's like they didn't learn their lesson. So if they tried to come around, it would probably end the same direction. It was on and off anyway. Aquarius is here. Pisces as well. Okay. We have a new deck. If I can find it. Okay, so let's see what kind of shit you need to know. We got the shit happens deck. So for Aquarius, what shit do they need to know? Please source. Okay. You can't pick up a turd by the clean end control. <laughs> oh, yeah. Shit or get off the pot. Decisions. I think you've made your decision. I really do. Let's get a yes, no, maybe so for you. All right. Aquarius. Yes, no, maybe so. Answer for Aquarius's question most in their mind. And the universe says yes. Okay. On we go to Pisces. All right. Pisces last, but definitely not least. Let's see what we have for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. If you're dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sag. Fast action. Incoming. Oh, boy. There might be too many people here. Somebody wants to defend this situation big time. <laughs> However, both these people... I feel like there's more than one person. You got the Knight of Wands, you got the Knight of Swords. One's more passionate, one's more pissed off. Wanting to come in fast, probably two. This one wants to defend their territory. But both of them are definitely interested in you. All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Oh, jealousy streak I feel there. Page of Swords Reversed. People gossiping and horse shitty. One more. A lot of people up here. Don't trust this person. So if you're dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, they don't have any good intention. They might be trying to offer an apology, but they're still talking shit behind your back. What is with that? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Chariot and the King of Swords Reverse. This person's an emotional manipulator, a major, major emotional manipulator. They could have left the situation and you're just dropping it. They might come back around. Be careful with that. Whew. This is the kind of person that says, I get my way. Be careful. Okay, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. King of Wands and the Two of Wands can be an Aerosol Sag. It's got it going for you. This person gets what they want. They got it going on. Ooh, and they're a little aloof. So this is a mysterious sexual person that, you, you know, they need to make a choice, but it does look like it could move forward. Ooh, could be a fun time. A little frolic. Okay, Pisces, person most on their mind or in their energetic field, please source. Page of Wands, flirty, flirty. This is messaging, it's new, it's texting, it's getting to know you, feeling you a little bit. Tower reversed, could be after you had an ending that doesn't seem as bad to this person now. Their ending I'm feeling. So they view you, look at that shit. They think you are the bomb. Mother of the child, mother, mother ring. Ooh, but did they make you an option? Mm -hmm. Why the lovers reversed? Could be a disconnect right now, and they're trying to feel you out on whether you'd reconcile. How do you view this Pisces? Well, you might think they're codependent. That is the nine of coins reversed. Okay, so it's like emotionally codependent, financially codependent, could have been a user. Because you have the money. Mm. Is this the type of person that offers the commitment because they can leech off of you? Feelings, feelings, feelings. Very small. I don't think you want to... I mean, you'll talk to them, but you probably mm -hmm. friend zone them. Moving forward. You sure the hell are. One more for the Wheel of Fortune. Oof. 
you're going to hold back from this person. There's something about them that you do not trust. They are probably trying to avoid this tower ending, but it does look like it's done. They still want to reconcile, but I feel like it's about reliability. I, I just feel like that chapter for you is done. Bottom of the deck, three of wands. You're moving forward. You're turning your back to this person. Queen of Wands, and you got it going on. Could be an Aries Leo Sash that's interested in you, but you are dropping the past. You're dropping the X. You're dropping the bullshit. You don't trust them. Things did not get off the ground. Went too slow. They weren't reliable. I really feel like this had to do with finances, and now they want to come in and play, you know, pretty boy, pretty girl. Try to, you know, get, suck up to you and, and treat you like, you know, you're the all, everything. After an ending, try to make it up to you because they want back in. And you're kind of going, yeah, you know, I've given enough. I really have given enough. I'm moving on. This is all about divine timing, but this is you holding back, making sure that you know what you want and having a new beginning. That is sweet. This is moving forward. This is the universe helping you make a new chapter. And helping you make a decision on what direction to move forward. But it does move forward very strongly. Changes. New beginning. A turning point with a good outcome. Gain. You know, you've done your trial. You could have had a karmic connection with somebody that just didn't go well. New chapter is coming for you, Source is saying. So it can be a Leo coming your direction. I think you're done with this, you know, little page that was immature. Could have been an age difference as well. Oh, all signs are up here. Let me take another peek. Scorpio, Libra, Taurus, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, here's Leo, Sag, and then Leo heavily again. All right, let's get some shit for you from the shit happens deck okay what does what kind of shit does what shit does pisces need to know what's the shit they need to know hard work will improve a shitty situation stay focused and time to celebrate the good shit promising i think your future is god dang awesome let's get an answer yes no maybe so for you pisces Yes, no, maybe soul source. One more shuffle. Stop. <laughs> you know the answer, and I know you heard the giggle. Okay, on that note, thank you so very, very much for watching. Many blessings, and we will see you next time.